Hello and welcome to today's video. I am so excited. I titled this video All the Fall Vibes because to put it plainly, that's just what today's video is gonna be about. And I know we have to call out the 800 pound gorilla in the room. I got a haircut. And I don't know how I've gone this long in my life without getting curtain bangs. Oh, I'm obsessed. And this is like, I haven't done it in a few days actually. It's got some layers in it. She trimmed it up so it's more fresh and healthy. And I got some face framing stuff. I don't know what else to say other than I love it so much and I'm keeping this hairstyle forever. <laughs> we can't have a fall vibe without a little library hunt. I'm looking for fall reads, spooky season reads. There's no saying if that's actually gonna happen but we're gonna try to see what we can find. I will warn you though, this entire segment is so chaotic. I was absolutely absolutely drained the entire time, so I got a monster. You'll just have to see how that goes. Listen, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Get out our handy dandy phone. We're gonna open the little free library app. I'm not gonna show you where we are. There are five near us. So then all you do is you find one that looks ideal. And then it's cool because they have little pictures to show you about them. Some people say like why they decided to build a little library. It's pretty cool. Then you get directions and boom. This one's three minutes away. Hopefully by then the uh, monster kicks in. I need to report the monster did not work in three minutes. We have this book to donate, this book to donate, and this book to donate. I think I'm gonna do the middle list one. It just feels right. Right here I can see this book titled The Muse that looks so interesting. Already we're gonna knock it a point or two for the structure. Oh my God, it looks so cool. What is this about? Does it even matter? You know, normally when we're doing this, I don't actually read the insides. I just like take it and then that's why I end up redonating it because I never figured out what the book was actually about. So I'm gonna take a second to actually read this to see if I wanna take it. If I don't vibe with the writing, doesn't matter how interesting it sounds, I won't read it. Yeah, and it's so fall. Like, this one also looked really interesting. The chair, gray matter. And Tina, Ben, Debbie. We're gonna take all the little books. Okay, this is a win. I'm gonna say the structure is gonna knock it down a point, but they had a really cool book in there. It's seems well taken care of, so I'll give it like an eight. Somebody commented and was like, you running away every single time is my favorite part. <laughs> so now I feel obligated to run at everyone. I feel like the monster is kicking in right about now. It's the farthest I've ran in years. It's <sighs> good stuff. <laughs> We're gonna do the small one because this looks like a tiny little library. Maybe me and you will go on a slide. Oh, it's cute. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, nice. I'll just screw that back on for ya. <laughs> Down a point. Already, I'm gonna say I was right. This is for like tiny books. Um. Oh my god, people. So let's take a look up here. We got Talk Before Sleep, McNally's Luck, Tom Clancy, Some Enchanted Evening, In High Places. Uh, okay, that's a no for me. Act of Will. I think that's gonna be all we can fit up there. The Face of Deception, Christmas Hostage. Jesus, this looks interesting. And boom. It's got a pretty good foundation there. This just <laughs> unscrews. If I take it off, screw. look it has though. It's a screw. You got that's why it's on there. I know, but look. What if somebody steals this and then some kids like playing and then poof, <laughs> they die. Sure. That's gonna be a negative point right there. I'm being picky because I'm tired today. I didn't find anything super interesting in it. I'm gonna give it a six, dude. But this is really cute. So it equals out to like a seven. 
Here we are at the last place with the last book. We got whipping solar panels. I already see one I think I'm gonna like. Oh my gosh, there's so much. The weight of blood. Spooking season. Okay, we got Nicholas Spar. What the? <laughs> the secretary secret. One of these days I want to read one of these just to like give my thoughts and opinions on it. I feel like I'd have a lot. Okay. Ooh, I like the bird. What is this? Dark Dreamers. Let's just keep this down here because this could be like a spooky, spooky book. Ooh. What? Cold welder. Oh my god. <laughs> what? There's more? We gotta go to work. Light everything this direction because it won't fit this direction. The 49ers. Oh my god. Holiday in death. Ooh, could I fit these ones that way? I am the only running foot man. I have this in my donate pile. <laughs> Sandra Brown. Ooh, a quiche before dying. Yeah, that's gonna be in my impossible pile. That's so satisfying. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. This is a possible. I like the vase, the cat. We'll read what that's about. See if we're gonna do it. This one also looks like it has another row to it. So, great. The last word. This seems like a suspense novel. Death Comes to the Village. A Curland St. Mary mystery. <gasps> Are you kidding? Are you... Did I find another geocache, dude? You did. Do I just, like, break... <laughs> Rock. How cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How cool. And I'm gonna do, what's the date you think? YouTube. If you subscribe because of this, let me know. <laughs> Stickers. And then we got some kid books. Whoa. Then we got these big guys. What do you think? Keep them where I have them? Yeah, I think so. There. Okay, so now I'm torn between, oh, it won Agatha Award. I think I'm gonna take the, the kitty one. This one gets a 10 out of 10. It had a geocache clearly well established. This thing ain't going nowhere. It has freaking solar panels and lights, dude. It had cute books in it. 10 out of 10. What is more fall vibe than the Washington coast? Granted, it is so sunny because it is shifting into fall, but still, the Washington coast is absolutely insane. Let me know if you can spot the seal. Now we are gonna track down some fall decor. I didn't find much in the actual thrift store, but I did find an incredible amount of things in the Dollar General.
It's whole time, whole time, whole time. First things first, I got some really fun books from the thrift store. I got this book, which is called A Fatal Chapter, and I'm obsessed with it. It has this really cute scene on it. It's got a little kitty. Even the back sounds kind of interesting. The other book that I got there is A Bibliophile Mystery by Kate Carlisle. It is called The Lies That Bind. And again, this one drew me in literally just because of the cover, the cat, the dark academia stuff style of it and the back also sounds interesting it takes place in san francisco i'm from the bay area so i absolutely love anything that has to do with the west coast and the bay area in general so very excited there's a little orange kitty like tomato on it in the little libraries our first book that we got was this one right here called the muse i do want to look this up on goodreads and just kind of see but doesn't it feel fall oh my god i know i said i don't like historical fiction hopefully i like this then i got a quiche before dying so this one i don't know anything about it that's just a running theme they all have cats okay this one's got a gray cat this one's got an orange cat this one's got a fluffy gray cat I feel like this could be a really fun reading vlog though, like reading all these cozy mystery books. Now we're going to move on to the fall haul and I'm going to try to decorate with everything in this video so you can kind of see it spruced up and just feeling cozy and I love fall. We went to Dollar General and I got this. Isn't it so cute? This, this little pumpkin, one dollar. You know why I got this? For my autumn mix. <laughs> so I'm going to put these in here and then like have this out and about. I got this little candle. It's called Apple Orchard and it really does smell like an apple orchard. It smells very like apple-y but then also it has some spice that I think is going to be really really nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay now we're getting into like tomatoes things. I got this little trick-or-treat cat sign. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'm thinking it could be really cute on the shelf. I don't know. It was so cute. Oh my god, I love it. I got these lights. Dude, okay, let's unbox them. Oh my god, I want to like dangle them in the little room that Tomato has up there. I think it could be so cute. I hope that they're warm and not LED bright annoying blue lights. We I need to find that out right now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I thought I didn't have batteries, but I found some. So moment of truth. Please freaking be warm lights. I will throw up if they're cold. This turned out better than I could have imagined. I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my god, the camera isn't doing justice. They're so warm. Run to Dollar General. These were two dollars. I think I'm gonna have to go back and get some for back here because they're so cute. I think I'm just gonna wear it for now. I got a little mommy mask. <laughs> isn't that so cute? Going to crack open a kombucha because I got some yesterday and I feel like my stomach kind of needs that right now after drinking that monster. We have Cosmic Cranberry or Mystic Mango. And I got these two specific flavors because in a Good Mythical Morning episode, these were spot number two and three. Number one was sold out, so that's cool. I tolerate kombucha. I want to be somebody that likes kombucha. I know it's really good for my tummy because I got tummy problems. I'm going to try one of these today. Yellow. You want yellow, okay. Cheers. You know what? I would actually drink this. This tastes really good and already I feel my stomach being grateful. Okay, nobody panic. I did just rinse that out. Now we're gonna take this off. Ooh, dog. First candy corn of the year. I'm gonna do a regular one. Oh my God, that's so good. Bruh, that's gonna be so freaking cute. It fits. Literally shut up. Nobody talk to me.
hope that you enjoyed today's very fall chaotic video. Next week is gonna be even more spooky and more autumnal. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. And if you liked today's video, make sure to give it a like and leave a comment down below of what are some good spooky slash fall slash autumnal books that I can add to my fall TBR. Wink, wink, hint, hint at what next week's video might be. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.